Hey everybody, my name's Norm from uh, Norman McLean Art. We are going to take this small uh, three by nine inch canvas and we are gonna paint um, a dandelion. So, uh, stay tuned. We're gonna see how it turns out. I think I'm gonna try to do uh, something that uh, will look really cool. <laughs> All right. All right, stay with me. Okay, I have a three inch by nine inch canvas and I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just paint a little a little scene on here, a little little um, dandelion. So I'm just deciding where the center of my dandelion will be. Maybe somewhere around here. This is just a rough rough area right now. Probably be a little bit bigger. There's something like that. Maybe even like, yeah, I think, I think it needs to be a little bit, a little bit bigger. This is gonna be just a, a quick idea of where the center of my dandelion is gonna be. So this is just, again, a rough, Rough area, rough paint job. We'll get some more, some better details in here very soon. But I just wanted the background to look kind of fluffy. So I think this is gonna have to be bigger. And all I'm doing is just putting a tiny bit of white on my brush. You don't want to put too much paint or water on your brush at this time. I want to make sure that the top of this is nice and smooth. So what I'm going to do here is just kind of like make it a little bit more prominent, a little bit more round. Something like that, there we go. So I'm just gonna keep on working on that for a little bit, playing with the colors. It almost looks like a half moon. Now you're gonna have to forgive me if I'm not talking throughout the entire painting. Uh, I normally don't describe how I paint as I'm going. And this is gonna be darker down here. I have a bad habit of putting brushes in my mouth and keeping them there. So um, if you hear me mumbling, that's probably why. I'm trying to make it look like it's curved. So right on the very bottom, it's gonna be a little bit darker. Sometimes with a smaller painting, it's actually harder than a larger painting. And that's because if you have a smaller, area to work with but it's also you're trying to get all those details still in this small area I'm trying to blend a little bit here lightly I'm very lightly bringing this up I want the bottom of it kind of fade away here that's all I'm doing is trying to make it look a little bit more round. Okay, that's not too, too bad. Maybe a little bit right here. I think I'm gonna make it a little bit darker on the bottom there, just to make a harsher edge line. A little bit of water. Not much. Whenever you put water on your brush, Remember not to put too, too much water. You don't want to um, water your acrylics down so much where it's losing all the paint. 
Because when you do that, what happens is it loses the pigment in the paint, which helps it stick. With a painting like this, it's all about the detailing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk away and let this dry and we'll come back and work on it in a few minutes. Okay. So I think this is dry. You can always tell if it's dry just by if it's tacky when you touch it. I want, I want this kind of like faded a little bit. Yes, kind of like making it a white, white haze. Sometimes these smaller canvases are actually a little bit more of a challenge than some, some of the bigger ones. I'm just gonna turn it a little bit here. I'm trying to get the side. And a little bit on this side. Okay, so what I'm thinking about doing is I'm gonna make this a little bit darker. So I'm going back into my black and I'm just gonna make this dark. Okay, I don't wanna to touch the flower uh, bulb itself, but sometimes you need dark in order for the light to show. So what I'm doing now is I'm starting like kind of where the uh, end would be and then just kind of like bring my brush and flicking it up. And this is going to give me a good idea where all the little stems are. Just going to pick a couple of them and that will be the ones that stick out a little bit more. What I'm doing is just kind of like making the making the bottom of the fluffy part a little bit more thick, a little bit more visible. Now what I want to do is I'm going to take my number zero detail brush. And I just want to, I just want to make some indications, very light indications of some long, fluffy, I don't know what you call these petals. Now this might seem like it takes a long time but you do want to get that detail in there. Remember when you're painting, you need to just take the time to enjoy it. Don't, don't worry about making like huge mistakes or just take the time to enjoy it. See how it turns out. If it doesn't turn out, I'm sure that you still learn something from it. You can see from just the little bit that I did here, how the black is really bringing it out. Well, it's getting dark out. So I think what's gonna happen now is we're gonna push pause and we'll come back to this tomorrow. Okay, rinse off my brush. Squeeze out some of the water and we'll clean up. So we'll come back tomorrow.
right, so we just finished this painting. It's a three by nine inch canvas of a close up of a dandelion with one of the little fluffies uh, being blown away. So take a closer look. Hopefully you're, you can see it. Put lots of detail into this. Um, even though it's a small canvas, it did take a long time to paint. Uh, sometimes smaller canvases take uh, lots of time, just like bigger canvases. Depends on how much detail you put into it. But I think overall it turned out pretty good. Hopefully you like it. It's a nice little painting. Until next time.